It's the end of what was looking like quite a quiet New Year's Day for us by normal standards. We'd had a call to say that a group of guys had carried out quite a big walk around Kinder and one of them was now unable to continue. That could be quite a lot of things from our point of view, so we were heading up as quickly as we could. Uh, Kinder 1 had gone ahead of us to assess the casualty. Um, I was in Kinder 2, currently in the Land Rover with some extra equipment, depending on what they needed. We were just waiting for a call from Kinder 1 after they'd assessed the guy to say what equipment they wanted, and then we'd take it on to the casualty site. The call came in from Kinder 1 to say that they'd assessed the guy. He was totally exhausted, his hip flexors had stopped working, so there was no way he was walking down off the hill. Um, they asked us if we could pack up the stretcher and bring it off over to them, and the idea was that we were then going to wheel him down from the top of Jacob's Ladder back down into Weedale, um, which is the opposite direction we were coming from. We'd take our Land Rovers round and meet them in there. He's got a bit of pain in his hips, a six. So we've just given him five six, so we've just given paracetamol ibuprofen, heated blanket. And I've just said to him again, do you reckon you could stand up and walk? And instantly he said no. There was no hesitation. As we go, folks. Yeah. Your head's coming back to you, not that's it. Yeah. 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 Legs on the yeah. that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Have you got the. Uh, hang on, let's put this no, up. Well, I might need to come down a little bit. Yeah, you're going to be super warm here. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. So, you're going to be fairly tight in here because we don't want you rolling off, okay? Right. Thank you. Are you steaming up as well? A bit. Yeah, in a good way. <laughs> First time in the Peak District, what fun! <laughs> Ready? Ready? Up! And down! So you now, Darren. Are we going to the right here, Paul? So... Yeah, we don't. Right, right. right. Nice. Yeah. Still got to get Darren down, so don't set off yet. Well, does anybody want to? There's a relief stretcher party of one. <laughs> so Thanks. if anybody wants to jump off, I'm happy to do a swap. Wheels out. Ready, steady, stand. Good. I'm cool. If you can twist round towards me, to your left. Just take your time, lift them up. Go on. Pull them round. That's it. Just your legs hurt, nowhere else. Yeah. Is it your hips still? Yeah. Okay. Right, okay. So if we... Uh... I'll lift from the back. Take your time, take your time. Just study yourself now, buddy. 
So, uh, we're actually now down in Edale, uh, the Barber Booth. Um, it turned out the casualty location was a bit further down than the uh, location we were given when we did the phone find. Uh, so it was, we'd already started downhill, so it's easy just to come all the way down to here. Uh, where we are right now is the casualties have gone into uh, one of our vehicles and they've been taken back to Edo uh, train station, which is where their, uh, their car is. Another one of our vehicles with another party have gone down just to follow them. Uh, the rest of us are here, we're waiting for our Land Rovers to come round and collect us. Um, we're probably just going to put everything onto the stretcher and wheel it down there. So the guys over here are now just uh, waiting to go.